that's a record we need here. I think we need fewer politicians in D.C. that kiss babies, cut ribbons, and say, I'm going to just do what's politically popular. We need a president to make the big, tough choices. All right. I want to I talk to you about that, because you say you don't follow the polls, but your critics say that's exactly what you have done in the case of, of Common Core. Uh, your administration applied three times for a grant under President Obama's race to the top, and when you finally got it, you bragged about being part of the program. Take a look. We adopted the Common Core state standards, which will raise expectations for every child. Then this summer, you tried to pull out of Common Core until you were blocked by your own state superintendent of education. I guess the question is, why the flip? Well, Chris, two things. I, was, I am still for high standards. Common Core was never supposed to be a top-down, government-run approach. I've never been for the federal government making curriculum decisions in Baton Rouge or in any other local classroom. But why did you classroom. apply for and brag about Common Core well, two years ago? Race the, because it started out, it was supposed to be voluntary standards. This was a bait-and-switch. Now, look, the race to the top was never supposed to be about Common Core, that, and that, that's why we're suing the federal government. This is a violation of the Tenth Amendment of the Constitution. V existing federal law says the federal government shouldn't make curriculum decisions. My argument is Arnie Duncan's actually broken federal law in the race to the top funding, in the No Child Left Behind waivers, using federal dollars to force states into Common Core. And by the way, I'm still for high standards. I don't want a one-size-fits-all approach coming out of D.C. But, but this, this is a bipartisan program that was started by the governors, not by, the, by Washington. And it's not a curriculum. It's a set of standards of skills and knowledge that you have to have at the end of each school year. And, and critics say that your real objection is that you are considering running for president. Conservatives have turned against Common Core. So you're now with them. Chris, you, even the CEO of PARC has admitted what gets tested drives curriculum, drives what gets taught in the classroom. I've seen it as a parent. My child's brought home the math homework under Common Core. Two and two used to be four. Now under Common Core, they made it so complicated. There are a lot of people that have changed their, their views on Common Core, and they see what it has become. I am for high standards. I am for accountability. If this were truly being driven by the states, and we wrote into our, our MOU with PARC that they had to follow the state bid law. They didn't do that, and that's why we've gone to court. This is becoming a top-down approach, just like Obamacare. We were told you could keep your doctor, you could keep your health plan. We were told this would be locally driven, local curriculum. That's not what it is. This is a one-size-fits-all approach from D.C. We have never allowed the federal government to make curriculum decisions in our local schools. Governor. We will continue to fight against this. Thank you. Thanks for coming in today. We Thank may you, be sir. seeing a lot more of you in 2015. Thank you.